I started making fresh guacamole several years ago after my sister visited Mexico and introduced us to the flavors of that country. You start with fresh avocados. You go to the store and you check for, um, to pick out a nice one, you check for uh, firmness. If it gives a little bit, uh, it's ready to use. If it's a little bit hard, you can leave it out on the counter for a couple days and uh, ripen it to just how you want it. Okay, you start by um, cutting down the avocado and all the way around there's a pit inside. And then you twist it apart. Then for safety, I like to just use a spoon and pull that out of there. And then you just use your spoon to scoop out all the contents of the, the avocado. And you can get right down to the skin. And just do that with both halves. And we're going to use two avocados for this recipe. The next step is to uh, mash the avocados. And I just use a fork. I just get down in there. And the reason I like to use a fork is that it, leave, it, it gets it smooth, but it still leaves some chunks. And you want to keep it uh, a little bit chunky to add more texture and variety to the finished product. Okay, you can see that it's still chunky, but we smoothed that out quite a bit. Let's so move on to our onion. And I'm using a red onion today. Okay, I'm going to show you an easy way to cut your onion. Just start by cutting off the top end and slicing it in half through that root. Then we'll just peel off this outer layer. Anything that looks kind of papery, you just peel that off down to that root end. And you leave that on. We'll start from the opposite of the root end and just make uh, cuts like this into our onion. And I don't want to use a third of the onion, so I'm going to keep the rest of the onion intact and I'll just slice across that one. And it just turns into nice little chunks right there. Don't have to do another thing. And then you can just slide that right into your guacamole. Next I'm going to show you how to uh, chop a tomato. And we're just going to use a half, but we start by removing the stem end and just cut around that, that top. Okay, we'll slice from top to bottom. And then I like to make a little stack. So I cut down through my tomato, stack them back up. I'll cut this way. Then I turn this again, and then I'll just cut through, and then that makes a perfect little dice right there. Just pick that up, put that in your guacamole. Okay, so we'll just Tidy up a bit, keep our workspace clean and ready to go. And we'll move on to garlic. This is a ball of garlic. Sometimes we'll get that confused whether, you know, which is the clove and which is the ball. So we just take off some of this papery outside and reveal the clove. So now that we have a clove, we're going to cut the end off of that and remove the papery outside. And you just do that by pressing on that uh, clove and that will loosen this papery skin. That makes it easier once you put it in the press to get a good you know, clean squeeze on it. And then you just scrape that in and you've got your garlic. Let's so move on to our fresh jalapeno. And these can be really hot and it can cause a lot of problems. So an easy way to get around that is just to use sandwich bags and just put them on your hands wherever you're going to really be touching that cut jalapeno. And then we'll Slice down through the jalapeno. And, this, and the heat is all in this pulp and the seeds. So we'll remove half of that and discard that. Then we'll just slice down through the jalapeno, get into little stripes. And we'll use, we'll use this half. So we have some spiciness. But, but not the whole amount. And you can kind of judge that as you get used to using jalapeno and how much you like. And the more you eat jalapeno, the hotter you'll like it. Okay, moving on to cilantro. Don't need this anymore. And we'll, we need to wash this just as we've washed every, all, all of our other fresh ingredients. I like cilantro, so I'm gonna use quite a bit. I'm gonna take a big handful. 
just going to snap off mostly leaves. And then we'll rinse that under the faucet. Removing any um, yellowed leaves, just make sure everything looks great, clean, and any extra stems. Then just to keep any extra moisture out of the, out of the finished product, we're going to um, kind of blot this dry with paper towels. Just remove any last minute stems here. And then you've got this big pile of cilantro here, and you start by chopping down. Try to keep the tip of your knife down on the cutting board and just chop through that. Okay, and then we'll just work in all the, the outer leaves until you get this uh, nice and fine. And the cilantro is really an optional ingredient. You can add as little or as much as you like or none at all. And the same with the jalapeno. Guacamole is one of those dishes, one of those um, side things that you can uh, make in an infinite number of ways. And probably every family in Mexico makes it their favorite way. We need a little bit of acid to balance the flavors, so we're going to use lemon for that. You could also use lime. And just remove any seeds, and then an easy way is just to put a fork in and move that back and forth to release the juice. And I kind of, I don't start with the whole lemon. I uh, just get some in there, and then I mix it. And this is one of the things I, I add to taste. If I feel it needs a little bit more, I'll add it. Otherwise, I can hold off uh, because uh, that's one of the that's one way to really balance the flavors is how much lemon juice you use. Okay, just work everything in so that everything's evenly distributed. And lastly, you can add salt if you like. Uh, it's, a lot of people don't use any, but that will bring out some of the natural flavors a little bit more if you want to add a little bit. Okay, now we're almost done, but it's important to check for, for flavor. So we're just going to open our bag of chips and give it a taste. I have to say, I'm hungry after working on this recipe. Okay, and you all know how to do this part. Just scoop it in and take a bite. Mmm. Good. Good fresh flavors. Okay, so now you have a fun and easy dish that you can make uh, really any time of year. The ingredients are available year-round, and it's great for parties. Uh, picnics, tailgating, get-togethers, and, um, and everyone can enjoy it. You can vary it however you'd like. And so uh, let us know what you think, and thanks for watching.